So it's Greg Cook off the inside in red, then it's Danny King going off gate two in blue, Charles Wright gate three in white, and Chris Harris outside in the yellow helmet colour. It's going to be a dramatic final, I'm sure. Oh, it will be, no doubt about it. If King hits the front early on, it might be tough to peg him back, but you could equally say the same about Wright because Charles Wright in his last two outings has been stunning. He beat Craig Cook comfortably, and he won the semi-final in fine style. What a way to finish the night. Here we go. The national title on the line, and a place at Cardiff in the FIM British Speedway Grand Prix on the line. And it's a great start from Cook. Cook has made a beauty. Now high into the dirt comes Charles Wright, and up the inside comes Danny King. Charles Wright! Unbelievable! Now Cook will try the middle part of the track, but Charles Wright is so quick, and now Danny King is going to take up the chase. So is Craig Cook, oh. but Charles Wright is going so wide. Oh, oh steady on, Danny boys. Danny King from the outside of Craig Cook, but Charles Wright, brave as a lion again, got himself to the front. All he's going to do now is just keep him well done, and he will be British champion, and he'll be the first British champion to his career. What a ride from him so far. Charles Wright, who rides for the Peterborough Panthers in the Premiership, and he rides for the Red Capers in the Championship. He is so close now to his first ever British title. Oh, this is a fairy tale story. He's from this area in Manchester, and Charles Wright is the champion of Great Britain, and he is the wild card for the British Grand Prix in Cardiff on Saturday, September the 21st. Many, many, many congratulations to Charles Wright, who did it right. He did indeed, Nigel. Wow, what a performance. He came out of nowhere. He was the underdog big time. He's ridden out of his skin. He's never ridden better. This is the highlight of his career. And Charles Wright is the British champion for 2019. And we will see him in Cardiff in September. What a night. A stunning ride. A brave move down the back straight. Really was out of the top draw. There was very little racing room. To be honest, the next lap, Danny King did something very similar. But for Charles Wright, this will be a night he will never, ever forget. What a moment for him. Many congratulations, Charles Wright. And it just gets better because he is also going to be at Cardiff wow. for the British Grand Prix well, on he'll... September the 21st. I'll tell you what, he'll be hoping for some grip on the outside because there is, he could win it. So um, you can forget about Schmarslick and Dudek and Neil Madsen. Charles Wright might just surprise them all. Charles Wright the winner, Danny King second, and Craig Cook was third. My goodness, what a race it was, Can yeah, we see it again, Nigel? Tapes are up and they get to the first corner of three abreast. Cook's on the inside. Charles right now, this is the moment that wins it. That bravery down the back straight. Gets himself on the dirt and charges to the front. Stays there. Here comes Danny King. What a move from him. There was a real tussle for second and third. Cook pushing King so hard. And King really was absolutely committed to that move around the outside. But the scenes on the centre green now are truly extraordinary. They really are very special indeed. And Charles right out in front, he rides a stormer and doesn't put a foot wrong. Here we see it. But Charles Wright, what a moment for him. And uh, he will be truly delighted and he's overcome with emotion. But that really is the highlight of his career and something very, very special indeed. Absolutely. You know, he's worked hard down the years, this fella. He really has done the hard yards in all three leagues in British Speedway. Indeed, he's come he through has. the system. And you tell me that the British final doesn't mean much these days. Look at these celebratory shots. Oh, that means everything well done, to him. Charles Wright.